and welcome to our garden tour of our Draw 532. Today I'm here with Ryan who is our builder here on this beautiful project. Ryan's heading away on a long term 12 months of holiday after this project. Two houses in a row he's built for us for Christmas so congratulations Ryan, what a great project. Thanks for that. Yeah it's been a great, great to be a part of the second one uh, in, in two years so uh, it's been great. Have a look at it. It's, um, it's turned out fantastic. Um, and your town have been fantastic to work with. So, awesome. Joe, Joe can keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come through, so we'll just talk a little bit about the landscape. So obviously we're steps to the beach. Ryan, tell us a little bit about the, the architecture and the, and the garden here. Yeah, so this front fence and, and garden, it had some nice nice curves entered into it, um, all aluminium slats, and it, and it works really well with the, the facade of the, the property. And we've also got on the, the gates are locked, but they do go through to an intercom. Is that correct? Yep, yep. intercoms there, so anyone can um, open up at any floor. Yep. You don't have to just be at the bottom. Oh, so very, very good. So come through. So we, it's a double garage, tandem garage, but we also there's a level a driveway here that you can park a car. But just you want to show through. We've got a, a, a space for your bins here. Yeah, nice bin enclosure, which is a, a a must. Nice easy access straight out to the um, excellent curb. And then we've got just there's a beautiful textured here. So Ryan, um, I know that when we were going through the project, um, you know, we're looking at the stone, but we we're actually able to get a, a tile that it looks magnificent. It does. It, it's come up. It's probably one of the the best features where we we swapped out and and still um, got a really good finished product. Um, most people wouldn't even know that it's actually a tile. Excellent. Um, well, we'll talk about the pool a bit later. So yeah, the double garage and there's a storeroom down the back. So um, we'll take you through and have a look at that. Then we'll come back out and take you around the side. Yep. But we've got obviously plenty of room in here. Now we are setting up because we are open to the public. So we're open Wednesday to Sunday. So anyone that's close to the Gold Coast, you can come and visit. It is open from 10 to 4. And then we've got a storeroom down the back here as well, which we've got some um, shelving and some surfboard racks put in as well. And also just to note that the, the floor is a two-part epoxy flaked floor. Uh, so it's uh, it's durable. It looks fantastic, and it's uh, it's going to be here for a long time. So wonderful. Okay, Ryan, take us through. Let's take you through the rest of the tour. Down the side. So you pass the uh, utilities amenities. So here we've got the lift. Uh, everything for the lift as well in here. Um, all the power box, all that sort of stuff all as well. Power box, yeah. comms, your yeah. um, your solar isolator. Now, how much solar was put in? Right? It was 6.6 yep. kilowatt system. So, good amount of solar and, and plenty more room up to, there to add on if needed future. And this is, the, uh, this is a beautiful outdoor shower. It works, we can try it. There we are. Um, we, do also, we also just missed uh, the doorway through to the garage. So, there is a side entry doorway as well. So, you can come in back in and throw your surfboards back through there as well. Yeah. And it's a lovely feature here, Ryan, in, in the, the, the tower racks as well. Yep, that's right. We don't, um, we don't miss much here. So. And tell us a little bit about the, just the, um, the quality of the build and the, the texture and what we've done. Yeah, here. so the, throughout the build, the externals was a mix of um, rendered foam board and also your yeah, axon cladding. Um, so this was this is part of it was axon cladding. It's durable, strong, and it's it's very beachy. Yeah. Um, and it and it come up fantastic. And so. I love I love what you've done with the landscape around here. Just the concrete and stone. So really practical for the winner to be able to move in and you know not have to worry about too much and just hose down the concrete. I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it and it allows for a lot of natural drainage and seepage. So it. Um, will work well with the Queensland storms. Excellent. Now we've got um, the beautiful little backyards. A bit. We have got irrigation systems. So I think that's one of them there. So that's hooked up to sprinklers throughout all the gardens and lawns. That's all on timers. Yeah. So that's all um, comes on twice a day and can be adjusted throughout. But um, it, um, it works fantastic. 
so, I mean, so we've got this beautiful yard and, and the landscape. So something special to highlight is that the landscaping was done by our social enterprise team. So our apprentices that came and were a part of that. So they did, they were involved in the planning. But we also had some special guests that come down from our head office that um, volunteered to help with the planting. Um, and so they were a part of that as well. So we had, it was all hands on deck, wasn't it, right? It was, the end? it was, yeah. Yep, no, they were fantastic, the young guys and, and girls. Yeah, so, so there has been top dress. So yes, <laughs> so everyone's probably wondering what the sand is, but it's just yeah. top dressing just yep. as part of the, the quality maintenance of, of the lawn um, right. to make it, you know, just to fix up a couple of the little patches, but it looks, looks amazing. And this outdoor entertainment space is, is great. Every level has an entertainment space, but yep. this is so tranquil and that uh, fire pit, so that's an ethanol fire pit, I believe? Yes, that's right, yep. And, it, and it's got enough um, you know, ethanol in there to last quite a while. So um, you don't have to fill it up every day. Looks great. And sitting out here, and it's quite in, in the afternoon. With the, you get the afternoon shade and the ocean breeze. It's it's very tranquil out here. And um, yeah, you certainly feel like it's you're living in paradise. Well, you are. You are. Yeah. It is. It is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go around the side of the house, and we'll go to the front yard. So take us through, Ryan. Let's go. This is probably a fairly close proximity to the laundry. So we've got the clothesline. We've also got a tap and a hose reel throughout the back. And then if you um, look over this side, you actually get a good sense of the different uh, finishes from the outside, um, which was the, the rendered rock coat wall with the axon cladding with a few steps in and out. And if, um, if we were to pan up, we've also got a beautiful aluminium powder coated hecker hood. That's a very nice streamlined architectural feature. So it, um, it come up fantastic and it just gives a little bit of that extra privacy and a little bit of extra cover from the, from the weather. And Ryan, you also mentioned we've got the windows and doors were from Seaview. Seaview. But we've got um, fly screens. A lot of our supporters often ask about that, but we do have fly screens coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, as well. yep, yeah. yep. So they're, they're coming tomorrow to install them. Perfect. So um, they've been fantastic to deal with. Seaview, nice local business. And we've got lights all the way around as well. and. Um, yeah, it's, it's very very secure, locked up, yep. and low maintenance. But we've also got this utilities room and air con unit up here. But um, take us talk us through a little bit about him here, Ryan, because it's a you know there's not a lot of room for a shed, but we've got plenty of storage in here. So I'll let you go in and yeah. just talk about the features of in here. So this I'm still using this as my uh, storage room. So here's my ladders, but um, this is where all the pump and the hot water system and um, a few other bits and pieces are. There's plenty of storage if need be. You can get a few nice big boxes, push boxes underneath, and um, and there's plenty of storage to use here. So so hot water in here, um, but we also have the plungy pool. So we'll show that when we get around the front. But all the features of that are here. So everything we've got the light hooked up, which goes to an app. So currently we've got it on blue. Yes. Uh, but you can change the colours of the pool. Yep. Yep, shut off valves for all the pool pump. So um, it's all very user friendly down here. It's not that much that can go wrong. So, And now we'll go through to the front yard. Now we have got it fenced off because we've obviously opened to the public and try to keep people off the, the lawn to keep it pristine for our lucky winner. But I'll take you through, Ryan. Um, obviously got irrigation through here as well. And uh, the lawn has been top dressed, as we said. Yep, gas bottles, two big gas bottles. So. Once one runs out, flick it over, ring the gas company, get another one. So then you will never run out of gas. So, and yep, same with the front yard. A little bit smaller than the backyard, but quite, quite beautiful, nice. And uh, at the end of the day, you've got the beach 80 metres down the road. So plenty of, plenty of extra space down there. And have a look at that pool. Like it is um, pretty spectacular. One. Um the first time Plungy had done a pool like this with a glass insert window, yeah. infinity style. So um, we were very lucky to, to get that put in and they've um, done some great video of that as well, of, of the install. Of, it was a bit of a mission to get it in with a crane. It and, was, it yeah. was. But we, uh, we managed, there wasn't nothing on this project that we, we couldn't conquer. Okay, we've got our garden bed we want to take you up and have a look at and the pool. So um, Ryan, are you ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, so we've made it up to our first level and we've got a garden bed out here as well and it's all got sprinkler systems throughout, Ryan, as well? Yeah, that's right. 
irrigation throughout this one, um, self drains too. So if you get those those big storms that come in and dump a lot of rain, it's automatically going to filter through and drain out into the stormwater system, which is fantastic. We've got a lock on the pool as well, but um, easy access in here. Just got to unlock it. Oh, just got to unlock it. That would be helpful. <laughs> There we are. There you go. Nice. And a great, great way to end the day after you've been at the beach, had wash the sand off at the shower and jump in the pool. Yep. Excellent. So, um, Ryan, really good job. Love, love the, the build. You're an amazing job again. So we really appreciate you and everyone at Diverse and RQC that has been working on this tirelessly. I know it was a, a challenge to get it done and yep. done on time, but. I think people were, you know, thought we wouldn't make it, but we did. And so well done to you and the team and lots of local trades come on board here from the Gold Coast and Brisbane. Yes. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Lot, lots of good people um, come in and, and, and did a lot of work and, and it shows. It looks, it looks awesome. Um, the place is great. Who wouldn't want to win it? It's, um, it's the place to be. And you got to work with Jason Pate and mm. Darren Palmer. So how good is that to, on your resume? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good two guys absolutely fantastic to work with and and they really know their stuff they're second to none it's just perfect so it's excellent and even your mum got to come and meet darren so that was pretty special for her as well yeah yeah she she loved that that it that experience yeah. that she'd been watching darren on the on the tv for years and and when i told her that i've been doing the last couple with her she's always kept on handing me <laughs> and i want to meet him i need to come down so uh, Joe and your town made that happen, so um, thanks to them. But yeah, she had a fantastic day and coffee with Darren and talked his ear off, and, <laughs> and uh, she appreciated that. That was great. Well, yeah. thanks, Ryan, again. Thanks for a beautiful project. We love working with you and enjoy your 12 months with your, your family and travelling. And we look forward to the next project when you come back. So, Definitely. congratulations, well done. Thanks, Joe. Cheers. Thanks.